the new show starts on Sundays. I really like the way that portable technologies are getting us even more mobile when we're on the road. Laptop computers are great, but let's face it, they don't always fit into the best situations and they're quite heavy to pack around with you. Well, with the mobile phones on today's marketplace, you can do so much more. You can get your email and you can browse web pages, but you can even load applications like Little Mobile Word or Mobile Excel. And by having those applications, you can now put lots of information or edit current information into documents. Well, in order to do that, you're going to need a keyboard. And a lot of these devices have a keyboard. This one has a full QWERTY keyboard on it. But let's face it, you can't type very fast into it. And in fact, after a little while of typing a lot of information, your thumb starts to get a little bit cramped. But it's not practical to bring a full-size keyboard with you when you go on your trip. So I wanted to show you something today from a company called Alexin. And it's a mobile keyboard. I'm going to show you how this works. I'm actually going to set it up. But first of all, it comes with a little stand. And simply what you do is you put your mobile phone into the stand. Bear with me while I set this up here. Pretty straightforward in terms of how it works, but I like it a lot. It's about $100 retail. And I'm going to pull this out. And as you can see, as I unravel it, I've got a full-size keyboard. And this is something that is really interesting to use if you get into an area where, of course, you have a table, whether you're in a coffee shop or you're on an airplane, and you want to interact with your mobile device, but you don't want to spend a lot of time using its keyboard. Well, simply using Bluetooth technology, you know, the same thing that allows you to connect a headset to your phone wirelessly? Well, you can connect a keyboard to your mobile device wirelessly by simply holding down the device for two seconds, waiting for that green light to pop in, and now you're connected. It's that easy. I can go into the same application now and finish that sentence off. The new show starts on Sunday. Be sure to watch us at 5 o'clock. Pretty cool, hey? Some of the things I didn't like about it, well, it, you can't use two keys at the same time. So if you wanted to do like a shift C to get a capital C, you have to do it in a separate mode, so shift and then the C. So you can't, if you're used to typing something like at 90 words a minute, you're not going to be able to keep that same pace. But let's face it, my thumbs are a lot happier to be using a QWERTY keyboard that's more full size versus typing into something smaller. Or even if you don't have a full QWERTY keyboard on your phone, this is a really good solution. It's from Alexin, it's about $100, and simply roll it up and take it with you.